Now let's get into the Q&A and I'll answer all your burning questions to the best of my abilities and we'll go from there. Everybody, thank you so much. Comments, you got this. DJ King Arthur, next PR meetup next week. And I got to talk to Steven, probably the same place. I just would like to have some more brisket. You're amazing. I think you're aiming low, but Shalom, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Rob, anything yet on whether or not we get tax statements from Voyager? Will the government give us a... <laughs> Bobby Shots, that was a good one. No, but uh, by law, they're supposed to give you uh, your tax documentation. Uh, let's see. So Frostbite says, how can I trust I trust capital if I can't self-custody? You can't. And that's just it. There's... Nothing but risk out there, right? That's why, like, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I do, and that's it. So with I trust Capital, I can only put really seven thousand dollars per year. I'm not. I can't put my entire life savings. I can't sell my kidney and go. Here's all the money for my kidney. It's a retirement account. It's not there to wreck you all the way down. It's just that is what it is, and uh, that's all. So again, so everyone's got risk. When Charles interview, I'll wench on deck for that one. Reach out to Charles Hoskinson and ask him when he's going to come on the show. That's it. Yeah, Alpha, this is why I try to do a little bit different today because everybody's talking about the same thing. It's all FTX and how they screwed everybody and how this is it. First of all, I don't believe that FTX was the lone perpetrator of all the problems that are out there. Are you, you kidding me? There's other bad actors. And those bad actors played along in the game. So don't be like, oh, so... It's, Oh, I do declare, I can't believe this happened to me. Yeah, they're all guilty. So just remember that. Uh, ah, Old Bear, good question. Is there a time frame for how long Voyager's back up for auction? Not for sure, um, but uh, if you check out uh, DJ Crypto, he's always on top of that stuff. So I don't know exactly when, but um, yeah, hopefully some more bidders will come along, but I doubt it. Charles has got a good question here. When a token is transferred to Ledger, does the original basis follow for tax reporting later when it is sold? So really, you're the taxable, you have to understand, it, the taxable event is when you either transfer that, not transfer from wall to wall, that's not a taxable event. When you transfer one crypto into another crypto or you sell that crypto for fiat or if you use that crypto to pay for a good or service. So you have to understand. So as far as the original basis, if you bought Bitcoin at 10K, right? And you transfer it to your ledger and it's at 12K, doesn't matter. That's just transferring crypto from a crappy exchange <laughs> to your ledger, which you are now well-versed in. Now then, if you tell your painter, hey, Bob, I want you to paint me a mural. Okay, it's gonna cost you 12 grand. Here's 12 grand, it's one Bitcoin. Okay, you owe taxes on that two grand appreciation. Or if you sell that Bitcoin and you get money in 12, you owe $2,000 in capital gains tax, whether that's short term or long term. And uh, that's the, the basis of it. So it's the original basis for when you bought it to when you did something with it. Hope that makes sense. And that's just in America. I don't know how it works everywhere else. Puerto Rico, it's exactly the same place. Yeah, Aristotle says, Rob, maybe this is a lesson. We need no exchanges or big players. Bitcoin's for the many and not the few. Makes sense to me, right? We all want institutions to come in. <clears throat> Unfortunately, institutions screw things up, but they can play in the game, right? We're not going to exclude them for any reason. If they want to come in and they want to purchase a Bitcoin, have that, you know, but I'll have mine, you'll have yours, and everybody will be there. Also, I'll have mine on Ledger. Let me tell you, there is nothing sweeter. Oh, it's a sweet feeling when you see all the things that are happening in the background and things are collapsing and people get stuck on these exchanges and you just open up your ledger live and you just look at it and you see, you see those figures in there and you're like, oh, I don't have to worry about that. Very nice. It's very sweet. That's why I, I come on these shows and I'm not crazy. Yeah, Corey says, go watch Charles Hodgson video from yesterday. I get it. Charles thinks that it's all gonna, it's all gonna go down. I still think there's a reason why Charles goes to talk to the regulators. He goes up to the hill and he goes to talk to politicians. Why? Because he wants to be a part of that conversation. I'm pretty sure that's what Charles wants to do. 
If he didn't go up there, he didn't want to go there. He does whatever he wants to do. I think what he's trying to do is educate them, which is a good thing. That's great. We want to be part of the conversation. I don't see a problem with that. Uh, need your opinion on Theta? Yeah, I could probably do well. I just might collapse. Who knows? Um, Rob, I missed the last Fed meeting. Her JP was hawkish still. Do you still think we're going to another 75 base points in December? It's going to be either 50 or 75. That's all I know. And if it is 50, the markets will probably uh, rally quite, quite strongly. All depends on the CPI numbers, though. I think we get another one before that meeting in December. Michael says, education is the key. 99% of average persons are clueless about the project. They only look at money sign, X a thousand, promoted by gaming <laughs> gaming chair influencers. This is, this is true. No one really understands a lot of the different projects and tokenomics and utility and the team and the community. Just they don't get it. That's okay. You know, you'll learn. You'll, you'll, you'll learn in one of two ways. You'll either get super lucky, which is, rarely happens, or you get wrecked and you lose everything. And pain is a hell of a motivator. It's a hell of a teacher. That's it. Nasir says Santa rally. Could, could happen. Would like to see that. Jay Selter says, Rob, I still DCA, but now there's so much anxiety waiting for funds to clear before withdrawing from exchange. Deal with it or do you purchase crypto differently? No, I do exactly the same way you do it, right? But I'm still, you guys remember, like I'm still micro DCAing. 20 bucks here, 40 bucks there. But then every uh, every day or so, I wake up, I do the same thing. I walk my dogs for an hour, an hour and a half. I come back, have a big glass of water, and then coffee, do a little journaling. And then I pop open my computer, stick my ledger in there, and I start to transfer the crypto from Coinbase. That's all I use right now. From Coinbase into my ledger. And that's it. And, uh, you know, I might lose 20 or 40 bucks here and there if it if Coinbase, you know, drops at the face of the planet, but it's not going to kill me. So that's it. Yeah, I don't invest a ton because I still think we got a long ways to go down. That's why I call I do what's called micro DCing. I don't do it all this stuff. John, I answer your question. I think there <laughs> soul pulling a Luna or is there a future? There could be a future there. And everybody's dumping on Solana, but. The thing is, what do you want to get behind? Do you want to get behind more of a centralized project like a Binance coin or a Solana? Or do you want to get behind more of a decentralized type of project, which has, you know, thousands of node operators and they can't say, hey, restart everything now. Take that Nintendo cartridge out and blow on it and then reset. It's not how it works. It just depends on what you want to do. I can't tell you what to do. Not your dad. My favorite. Uh, has anybody information about FTX and Vet Connect? I don't know what that what that is. Square has been killing in the TradFi world. Yes, trust me. <laughs> I use Scare my I, I use we use Square at our the volleyball facility we have, and uh, those fees they'll, they'll get you. Them Stripe and well Stripe and uh, PayPal. Koning von Pruben says paper wallets are decentralized and free. It's very true. Very, very true. Efrain says, I believe in Solana. If you guys are looking for a great real estate agent, there he is, Efrain Carrion here in Puerto Rico. Efrain, I missed you at the uh, meetup. Do it next time. <laughs> this is a good one. Rob, what's your personal price prediction for Bitcoin 2030? I personally have 500K. I think it could be somewhere between $10 and uh, a million. Somewhere in that range, I'm pretty sure that's where Bitcoin will be. <laughs> MDMD says, well, you can always count on sweat coin. You sweat, you get the coins. And all is done. This is true. <laughs> it's true. I, that's why I have talked about that project all the time. You don't have to buy anything. You just walk. That's it. Let's see. Oh, no way. Chavo says, my funds cleared 24 hours. Oh, okay, your funds cleared 24 hours before F FX, FTX US shut down, which was, was interesting because Sam said, we got no problems in the US. I bought Bitcoin and transferred it out just in time. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. 
Uh, Friends got a point. Solana does not need FTX. That is very true. Have you used BC Vault? I have not. Oh, yeah. Pumped up gaming. Hey, Rob, these past couple months have been rough. I don't know if you remember, but I'm the guy trying to retire by the end of my 20 in the army. Lost about what to do. Um, it just depends. Like, I still believe in the four-year cycle, so it just depends on where you want to go, you know, and how much risk you want to take. If you don't want to be risky at all, put it all in government bonds. Get a whopping 3.75% or whatever else it is, T-bills. Yeah, very simple. You're not going to retire on that, though. But it is very safe-ish and go from there. Or maybe you're like me, like I want to diversify. I want to put some in crypto. I want to put some in stocks. I want to put some in land. I want to put some in houses and real estate. And I want to put some in my business. Just kind of do those types of things. And then the percentage, I'm not for sure. I, I hope you can do it. I still think that crypto is the biggest asymmetrical bet. It's the bigger asymmetrical bet than anything I've got going, even real estate. So let's see. Corey, you folks ask a question about taxi. If you're going to safe, you really should go read. Hopefully you aren't getting into info from YouTube. <laughs> We'll get a CPA on at some point. Sam wants Smokehouse, Vicky says. That's right. Great place. Oh, no. Rob, did you see Crypto.com CEO coming clean on their balances in their ETH transaction? I'm going to guess that that Ethereum that they accidentally transferred was maybe not an accident. We'll go from there. Take all your crypto off of exchanges. Even Binance. Someone asked me, even Binance? Yes, even Binance. Binance already has, and CZ made it very clear in his Twitter space. He goes, we make money, which I thought was interesting. We make money through trading fees. And I was like, well, aren't you doing like a bunch of, you know, no trading fees for Bitcoin? So maybe it's all the other S coins that they're doing all the trading fees for. And he said, that's where we make our money. And I was like, that makes sense, right? You have an exchange. The exchange says we would like you two, we will connect a buyer with a seller and a seller with a buyer, and we will charge you 0.2% or 1.5% 1.5% or whatever it is the Coinbase does. And they make their money. They make millions and millions or billions and millions of dollars. That's all they got to do. Keep it simple. But yet people are like, no, we should do loans. And we should do yield. And then we should transfer it out. And then we should do some other stuff. And here we are today. I'm happy though. Does Ledger Live work on an iPad? I'm not for sure. I mean, it works good on my Mac. I can. That's all I say. What hard walls do you trust? Well, I only use a Ledger, so that's all I really trust. But I mean, I hear Trezor and Oculus, something like that. That steel one is good, but I don't use them, so I can't say much. <laughs> Rob's conservative ways of trending, no hate. Haven, my conservative views trend when everything collapses. The next bull run... I will be called a moron and an idiot for saying the things I'm saying to you right now because I don't understand the new way of things that are done. It's like uh, it's like Warren Buffett. I'm not. It's it's like Warren Buffett. He gets made fun of all the time. Have you seen uh, Berkshire Hathaway's shares? How well they're doing? Now you know what he's talking about. Uh, oh, I gotcha. Oh, great. Ricky Bobby says, everyone's saying the four-year cycle is dead and crypto going to zero. We have to be closing the bottom. When that, when that happens, that's when I will be buying more. But we'll see. Ah, this, this is the same. Julian says, I'm investing in crypto since 2019. I'm almost back to square one. I wish I took more profits on the way, but never did. Rob is right. Take profits when you can. Yeah. Remember that white paper we took a look at for Bitcoin? Very, very simple laid it all out for us. Very nice, you know, and said, uh, and said this, Bitcoin is, is a, a purely peer-to-peer -peer vision version of electronic cash. It's to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution. It's used for online payments. That's it. Is there anything in there that says don't take profits or don't use this for the currency that it's supposed to be? But what's the, di here's the, here's the thing. What's the difference between taking, 
taking profits or going, you know what? I want to buy that arcade machine. Or I need a new, I need a new um, refrigerator. Mine just broke. Do you take Bitcoin? I do not take Bitcoin. Do you take cash? I do take cash. Let me get some cash. And you take that Bitcoin, you just transfer it into cash, and you give them the cash. What's the difference between what the Bitcoin white paper just said? You just had to do an extra step. I'm just saying. Uh, what about Swissborg? Good guys? I don't know. I haven't seen Alex's brother forever. <laughs> Crypto Gower says, San Juan Smokehouse is only 1,100 miles from here. I was thinking about it, but I don't think I can swim that far. It's okay. Ah, Gongo Up says, Binance makes money through leverage trading. That's true. I do leverage trading. And me and, and PHYX1U5 are on the same page. Honestly, I'm glad this purge is happening. It, I am too. Because it gets everybody's mind straight, right? Everybody who's here now will remember this. And it's up to you, well, it's up to us to remind everybody who comes in after us to say, why do, why do, I, why do I have to use cold storage? It's so much easier, just like my bank, to put it on this exchange. Just leave it there. Do the things. And you're going to tell them, I'm going to give you three reasons. And it's uh, Voyager, Celsius, and FTX. If you've never heard of them, it's okay. Because the year is 2027 or whatever it is. But they all collapsed. Just like when we hear about Mt. Gox, we're like, yeah, yeah, that, that happened a long time ago. And now here we are again. So we are going to be our brother's keeper. Mm, ooh, Martin says, uh, Wall Street Journal just said that Alameda were inside trading tokens before they list them in FTX. <laughs> Shocker. Highly illegal in the securities world. And these guys still lost $10 billion. Yeah. What you going to do? Bicky, doing good work here. Bitcoin white paper, thank you. Ah, Toby says uh, Ledger Live works for good on an iPad. Fantastic. Chris Carter says, what happened to all the soul that was unlocked? I don't know. I guess it didn't drop as much as we thought it was. Ah, I didn't know this either. See, I can't use Binance US. Maybe I can now because I was in Texas. But I can't use Binance that I know. Of. I'm in Puerto Rico now. If you use quick trade on Binance US, they charge crazy fees. Interesting. Well, I mean, that's okay. That's that's the market, right? I mean, we know that. That's what we signed up for. And that's how they make money. I'm okay with that. ADIP looking pretty good. Uh, sweet. I watch your show. <laughs> the day that I put out the video on Celsius, I missed it. That was my fault. I should have put out that video because I had got back late. I should have done it that night that I got back from consensus. Shout out to Simon Yu for who is the uh, founder of um, StormX for getting me on the right path for Celsius. He's the one that told me. And you know what was interesting about Simon Yu is that he put out a tweet and said that uh, when he talked to all, the, all of his inner circle of uh, crypto insiders, asked him about FTX and they all said the same thing. That's just FUD. That's not the, the reality. Yet, even those guys didn't know. Mr. Wonderful didn't know. Scary Mucci didn't know. Tom Bray didn't know. Giselle Boonchin didn't know. Well, it's Giselle. But amazing how, how many experts are out. This, you know what even is more, more amazing to me is that you had like these, these experts, which I'm not throwing shade. I'm sure, I'm sure the books look different. And if there was fraud, there was fraud. But, you know, CZ Binance took a look at, the, at, the, at FTX's books and in 24 hours he goes, nope, deal is dead. And that was it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, in, in medicine, it's, uh, it's the same thing. Learn one, do one, teach one. So you learn something, right? And you actually perform that aspect, whether that be a surgery or whatever. And then you teach it. So it's the same thing here. I need you guys to learn how to use a ledger and the importance of and what's a private key and a public key and, and how to transfer things off. Again, you can find that at Dan Teaches Crypto in uh, Module 2, Safety, 100% free, 100% free. And then once you're done with that, I always say this. I want you to, to learn it and then tell two people. That's it. What? 
BitBoy channel just got nuked. Oh, no. I, it'll be back. I don't know if it got nuked with something or if it's off the air. Uh, uh, <laughs> Swamp Witch says, I was waiting on whitelist approval when Celsius corked us. Dolphins beat the Browns. That's good to know. Let's see. <laughs> Has a spare room for Giselle and she needs it. Hua. Is Ledger Live going to use? Yeah, it's the app that you use with uh, Ledger. And I show you how to use Ledger Live, the app, and how to update it without sweating bullets. Should I collect more data? That's up to you. I do. But that's, man, it's me. I don't feel dumb. Don't feel dumb. There's a lot of, it's all a learning process. What are you going to, and uh, that's how it goes. All right. I think I answered everybody's question. So, uh, Look, that's the whole thesis for today. I think things had to happen. They did happen. And uh, we're right where we should be. I think we lost a little bit of our way. And I, I did a, a Twitter thread on this one. And I said how, you know, it's amazing how like we, we started to kind of lean towards the old traditional finance ways of doing things. And we just saw how bad that happened. We need to get away from that. We need to go through a trustless, decentralized finance system which is really built for all of us and not just include the small or the one percenters. And that's what it is. So I'm going to be, you know, rebalancing my portfolio to support those projects just like that. And that'll be that. And that's all. So look, but if you haven't hit this, the like button, I don't know what else I got to do, but uh, if you would do that, that would help out tremendously. And that's it for today. Subscribe and all that good stuff. Hopefully YouTube will notify you fat chance, but uh, we go from there. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate you, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Boop, boop, boop.